Look what we just got back from Rudy. We got the mini rollback back from Rudy. It's awesome. Him and his minion Zach did a wonderful job because reacting. The thing, the I'm already thing, reacted out, sorry. Those of you that don't know, we got a Daihatsu high jet dump truck a few months back. We took it to Rudy to see if he could make it into a rollback. We're gonna test it today to see if it actually works. That's fast. Tucker said, there is no way anybody can do that. I said, Rudy can do it. We're gonna make an episode of Pimp My Ride. And boy, did he. Want to check it out go to their channel rudy's adventure in design see how he did it we're going to walk you through some of the features and some of the plans that we're about to implement next week all right so rudy made this custom slider look how beefy that is took some square tubing cut it in half made the c channel so that this other square tubing would fit in there nicely, welded it up nice and solid, attached it to the lift arm, and he also built this lower frame so we wouldn't be raising the center of gravity for the vehicle. In fact, the bed sits about an inch lower. Then he also added another hydraulic pump to run this way oversized giant cylinder gave us more capacity for the hydraulic fluid. Not only did he do all of that, he also extended the bed about two feet so that it could be at an appropriate angle and a little bit longer for our mini Jeeps with their winches and spare tires and whatnot. And he added this diamond plate because the stock bed was a little bit flimsy. This really stiffened it up. And not only did he do all that, but he left fold down, bed sides, functional. Rudy also added this crane at George's behest. We can winch the mini Jeeps right out of the ditch and onto the bed and get going. At least that's the plan. We're gonna test it today to see if it actually works. And for that, we need a mini Jeep. And this is the most wrecked mini Jeep we have. So it is a perfect candidate, even though Tucker fixed it. No movie magic, folks. That was all Trevor. I am. And some George. No AG1 for George. Oh, yeah. What am I stuck on? Almost. All right. We're going to do a quick way of the mini Jeeps just so you guys have an idea of the forces in play. 296, 295. Damn, those are light. I know, something's wrong. Something's very wrong. 31 pounds on that side? 31 and 72 and 105 and 87. Let's take it. Tucker sits on that picture? side, so it's like everything Every. shifted that way. <laughs> so the right rear is the lightest. I think it's an issue where it becomes accurate in its window. Like, I don't think it's made to weigh very light things, and you're a very light thing. <laughs> Tucker, get on. Tucker, you weigh 140. That's a new personal best. Probably have to take it apart. I'm not going to be able to say this. We weighed the Repo Ram the other day. We are about to weigh the Weepo. We's going to weigh the Weepo Ram? <laughs> Why don't you do the intro? <laughs> now I want to say it like that. We're going to weigh the Weepo Ram. <laughs> Kind of chewed up the epoxy floor, like it skidded. And it dug in here. This little scale is a little gummed up. Probably needs to be taken apart and cleaned. Oh, we were at three, and that one was showing 30, but the other side was like 80, so it's like 350 probably. Yeah. Not 350. 350. Rudy didn't want me yelling at him. Rudy! So he uh, didn't touch the wiring this time. That's good and bad. Nothing is wired in, we, but to do our little test, make some temporary wiring, see what we can do. That's the quick way to do it. Fast. 
fast. That was fast. 5,500 pound Badland Apex. It's freaking awesome. That is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Jordan. Did the alternator fry? It's got overgrown. Now finish it out. No uh, snow button. As you can see, the bed is currently a two-man operation. But we are going to fix that. We're going to run all the wiring to the outside and maybe also have wiring on the inside. We're going to put an extra battery. We're going to replace that battery, put an additional battery, and hopefully find a stronger alternator. We also need to beef up the rear suspension. Springs have flattened a little bit. We're going to give think, this poor little battery some help. <laughs> 10 volts. In order to use the crane, we've got to mount this little winch because this is not the hand crank style. This is the electric winch style. This isn't made for this Vivor plate. Did this come with the crane? Yeah. So why don't the holes line up? That's what we want to know. Because when you uh, order Vivor, you get a with fever. Beaver. <laughs> get a fever. <laughs> Can you line it up so that we can mark holes to drill? They're not in different places. High quality of fasteners. 4.8. So these are uh, metal drill bits that I saw on Robbie Layton's channel. And he said, these are the greatest things ever. And since I don't know a Maco dealer, I had to pay heavily for on eBay for them. <laughs> <laughs> Not a sponsor for us or Robbie Layton. Hey! Don't want to ruin the good bit. I don't see any chips flying. It seems like it was a little bit off. On well, that weight, I was bending it. Now it looks straight. Oh yeah, that looks good. My eyes see. Um, I gotta say, could be user error, I don't know. Maybe it's more for like sheet metal, because that's what Robbie mostly uses it for. I don't know. George wants a cheap stepper bit comparison. Should we cut the next one with that one? Sure. I see a breach. A breach. You uh, left something. Maybe we should call Robbie and see what we're doing wrong. I hope we're doing something wrong. If I'm not mistaken, those were like multi-hundred dollar bits. <laughs> I don't think it's like, ooh, how about those for 30 bucks? You got any of them regular bits? Harbor Freight for the win! The win! I am much less tired. You know how much that set costs, George? 12 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> They're not quite that cheap. They're, it's like 110 bucks. Just ordered us some quick release cotter pens. Heck yeah. What's your prediction? I think it's gonna be just fine. The problem we're gonna run into is we have no way to lift the boom. The boom can go up. <laughs> Go out one more, make it worst case scenario. I'm always up for more. Hey, easy on the upholstery. George is hooking up the actual controls for this so that we do not have to be standing in the back of the vehicle while we do this, just in case. This is Misadventure Lab, not Die Lab. I'm excited. Here we go again. What if this is just discharge? How did we lose a battery? I complete. We got yours. Huh? You're off the ground. But I feel like you could flip this. Oh, George is trying. Oh man, that tire's squeezed. 
How flat is it? Well, it's not bad. <laughs> Oh yeah. Pivot it right in. It works. Totally works. I totally thought it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> Deploy the mini Jeep. <laughs> was it scary? It felt a little weird. The way that the cab was like here and then it has me a little the nervous. bed headache rack was like this. We haven't even shown you one of the coolest parts. If you're into bumpers and winches, Look at that bad boy! Rudy built that in less than a day. Can you believe that? It is also sporting the Apex 5500 Badland winch. Carries quite a bit of oomph. We got a lot of things to figure out on this, but next things like covering up this dirty bumper. Should we paint it black? Should we paint it white? Should we paint it purple? <laughs> <laughs> but first things first, we're gonna get all the electrical wired up. Front winch, bed winch. We've got lights to put on here, flashy, flashy. Stereo, more batteries. Our iPad to help us navigate the wilderness with our Onyx app. Rudy is out enjoying the Freedom 500 race, whatever that thing's called. He's gonna come back, he's gonna finish this off so it ties in nicely. Oh, he is also has an awesome bull bar for the front to mount some off-road lights on. Also provided by Harbor Freight. So thank you Harbor Freight for all the winches and the lights always hooking us up. We appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you next time.